I'll move us on to our second article, which is about NASA's Ingenuity helicopter. Um, and Ingenuity is part of the Perseverance rover that we actually talked about a few weeks ago, uh, the week that it was landing on Mars. Great so names, by the way, all around. Yeah. Uh, I think the Ingenuity name was made by an 11th grader um, oh, nice. in the U.S., and she won the naming contest. So that's awesome. But so Perseverance, uh, NASA's most recent Mars rover, it's got Ingenuity actually in its belly. And Ingenuity cool. is a drone that's got, it's about four feet by four feet. Um, so like think of it as a giant drone or a mini helicopter. Um, and basically it's a ridiculous and really interesting feat of engineering because of how hard it is. At least they expect how hard it will be to fly in the Martian environment. Why is it so hard to fly in the Martian environment? Well, there's a lot of things about Mars um, that basically the atmosphere is really, really challenging to fly in. The biggest thing is that the air on Mars's surface is about one one hundredth of the density of that on Earth. Gotcha. Um, and when air is more dense, it's actually easier to create lift using rotor blades. Um, in this case, it's about equivalent. Like, tr flying on Mars's atmosphere is about equivalent to trying to fly a helicopter at a hundred thousand feet elevation. In, on earth oh, okay. which has never been done before because the air is too thin so um in terms of pioneering like rotorcraft this is the you know they're making huge leaps and bounds in terms of being able to fly in thin air gotcha also ingenuity is solar powered um about on mars's atmosphere they only get about half the solar energy that we do on earth so it takes a lot more time to recharge and you can probably only get short flights out of this all that to make matters worse, nighttime temperatures on Mars are minus 130 degrees Fahrenheit. That's minus 90 C. So freezing cold. Cold isn't great for batteries. It isn't great for composite materials. Um, it basically is like going boss mode on the rest of the challenging things because of the cold temperatures. So it's already tough to get the amount of energy required to create enough lift for this thing to fly. Then it's made more difficult because you're getting less sun, which is actually powering the device itself and whatever power you have left over it's required during the nighttime to keep it nice and warm is that right yeah gotcha yeah. so um in terms of you know how much engineering went into this we can say a lot um <laughs> fair perseverance the rover taking ingenuity out to an airfield and it's going to like release it out from its belly and let it get set what up what airfield like did they bring some sort of infrastructure with them no so they didn't like take asphalt with them to pave an <laughs> airfield um, tarmac out in the middle of Mars. But what they did do is scope out the Jezero crater area, which is where Perseverance is, you know, crawling around right now. They found a spot that's about 10 meters by 10 meters that's completely flat, okay. no rocks, nothing that'll impede it. Ideal um, for flying. Basically, yeah, a, a big empty open area that's safe for this thing to try flying. Um, and it's going to test for 30 days. Uh, which is 31 or 30 Mars days, which is 31 Earth days. And the first six or seven days of that will actually just be ingenuity, ingenuity setting itself up. So getting out from underneath Perseverance and getting aligned and arranged right in the right spot so it's ready to fly. Making sure you have the optimal conditions before you actually start the test, right? Yeah, okay. doing all like the pre-flight checks and getting everything ready. That'll take about a week. Nice. Um, then they're going to do one first test and it's the only one that they've really scheduled um and ingenuity is going to fly 10 feet and basically try to hover for 30 seconds in the mars air um and after this first test they'll send data back well ingenuity and perseverance will send data back together to earth and then they'll kind of analyze that and look at you know hey how did that flight go what else can we try to do and just like to keep things in mind how short these tests will be the Ingenuity aircraft can only fly for 90 seconds. So they can only prepare for about 90 seconds of testing. They're going to start with 30 and see if it can do that first. And then they've got four more tests basically left in the tank for Ingenuity to try while it's there on Mars. Okay, so what's the end goal with all these tests? What are they trying to determine? Well, you know, if you kind of zoom out and look at the importance of what this is, it's basically the first time we're using powered flight on another planet. Um, and so, like, if you think back, actually, here's a fun fact. Think back to the Wright brothers, um, commonly accredited with uh, having the first powered flight on Earth. 
Um, they actually have a piece of cloth from the Wright Brothers' first flying machine on Ingenuity because oh, that is really kind cool. of the, the equivalent thing on Mars, which is the first powered flight. Right. Um, <laughs> Apollo 11 also, when it landed on the moon, also had a piece of this cloth on there. I didn't know that. So wow. It's kind of a cool tradition with flight um, and the uh, aeronautics, aviation uh, type industry. But um, it's basically the first powered flight on another planet. And NASA says, you know, the goal of this test is just to determine whether flight on Mars is possible. Okay. And if it is, then it opens up a whole realm of possibilities for rotorcraft like Ingenuity to explore Mars and to access different areas of Mars that we can't with a rover. Um, and if it doesn't work, then NASA will know that we can't fly on Mars at this point. In time. So, <laughs> well, you know it's what? A, it's it's a first test, but it's a significant one. I'm I'm pretty excited about it, man. You know, anything that's rover, Mars, and NASA related, we always get super excited about. Um, I'm I'm wishing the team the best of luck that you get the test data that you're looking for, and that Ingenuity lives up to be what we want it to be. 